Hello everybody, it's Eric, it's the Eric Freeze of Public Psychonog, and here's a video of this video of my garage system. Here's my main receiver, it's a Philips Sucknavox. Uh, I don't know what the model is. Oh, FW65C. I think I picked this up at Goodwill. Pretty sure I picked this, yeah, I picked this up at Goodwill, I believe. Actually, second Phillips I've picked up. I had another one, a more nicer one that I picked up that's at my other house. It's a bit newer than this, and I ended up getting some Phillips speakers for it. But I got this as a garage system. I was using this Yamaha out here as my old tuner, but I wanted something with cassette players on it so I can plug in a cassette adapter so I can play music off of my phone, computer, or, I mean laptop, or MP3 player, if I so desire. So, yeah, that worked out pretty good for me. Um... And the knob on that one was busted. There's actually the knob there on the floor. But yeah, I've not had any issues with this. This is a pretty good receiver. Um, it does feel a bit cheesy, but the sound uh, the, the sound output on it's pretty good. I put up some nice high-quality speakers into it. But yeah. Over here, I have these two Sony speakers. Turn off the ceiling fan. I don't need that on. It's chilly. But I have these two Sony speakers. These were trash find speakers, and I need to set that clock. Um, and, uh, yeah, they don't really sound the best. I think they're a bit foam rotted. I believe they, they were detached. They're off of a boom box or detachable speakers. So they would have probably been on a boom box or something. They are really beat up. It's a good set of garage speakers though. I may get something nicer in the future and probably blow these up in the future. But as of right now, it's really no big deal. Over here I have this GPX of speaker. One of two that I have, there one's over on either side of the garage. It works pretty good. Um, for GPX speakers, this actually sounds pretty good. It sounds pretty comparable to the Sony's. Um, I had to mess with the equalizer on the Philips a bit to actually get it to work with some of the other things, but the, these sound pretty good. And then the other one is over here. Other GPX speaker. This one's in the stairwell. Which is pretty nice. It kind of actually echoes a bit. And before I had a speaker up in the attic, this actually, you could hear it up there a bit. Um, I have a plan on probably putting some more speakers up. If I can just find some lone speaker, I'll probably just put a speaker here and wire it up to the other channel or something, center channel, and just kind of install it there. I have this little speaker here, uh, which came out of a Big Mouth Billy Bass. Um, so I may just run wire, speaker wire over there and just kind of and angle it up there and see if it works. Um, it's probably not going to make a difference, but it's worth a try. Um, but yeah, it's just here. Yeah, I may do something with that speaker. I don't really know yet. And then I have a PA speaker up here. It's a VIP branded PA speaker. And this is what pretty much gives a sound for the upstairs. This is a storage room, but I've actually been up here a lot to somewhat relax, and I made a few YouTube videos up here for my other channel. Speaker, actually, the sound on it carries pretty good. There's no bass to it. It's all trout, but still, it looks pretty good. Uh, no wire nuts at all on this thing. There's speaker wire, slow voltage. I'm a redneck, so, yeah. The wire I'm using for speaker wire is actually, uh, is actually doorbell wire. I got a whole bunch of it from work. So, it's all just doorbell wire. It just runs down here for my power lead that comes into the upstairs here. So, I have my power lead and then my speaker wire. Eventually, these will get stapled up to the ceiling nice and neat. Um, but it's not really been done. For all I know, I'm, I have a few plans on running a speaker out to a shed I have outside. Um, and most likely what I'll probably do is just branch off of that speaker, one more speaker wire, and just run a line outside for one of the soffit vents and just straight down. Uh, probably all the way over here in the corner so I can actually get it to hook, hook in. Or maybe I'll just run it off of, run off that GPX speaker over there, run over, and then out for there into the shed. Um, and so I can have a speaker out there. It's going to be, it's either going to be my right channel or my left channel channel I think I have my right and left reverse because I was lazy when I installed the system but yeah um, that's a bit of future plans I might I, I'll come back to eventually in the future once I actually get the system working but for the time being 
that's the garage sound system. I'll make a video at some point in time of the of some of the random uh, radios and stuff inside the house, but for the time being, that's all I got. Thank you very much for watching, and have a good day.